So I want to do a video covering the overhead of things that we have and things that we do to provide sound at an event. And when I mean overhead, uh, what that means is all of the equipment and the things that we use that are not really direct related to the sound system. We have all these other things that we bring for a show that allows us to, to do a show. And specifically for outdoor shows, there's a lot more overhead of things involved uh, to um, put on an outdoor show versus an indoor show. A tent is overhead. We use a 10 by 10, and it is probably about uh, 60 pounds in weight. And without a tent, we don't do outdoor shows. So we have to use a tent, even though it's going to be, let's say, a bright, sunny day, no possibility for rain, we still bring a tent because the sunlight can easily overheat a console. So we have a tent to handle inclement weather in case of rain, but also it's to cover the console to keep it uh, shaded from the sun. Okay, here's a picture of the tent, which uh, if you've seen our past videos, you've seen this exact tent. And with it, you can see a lot of other stuff around there that is overhead, which uh, we'll get into. Okay, here we have a uh, sandbag. This is what's used to uh, help keep the tent down uh, in case of wind or anything like that. It's got a nice Velcro um, bracket on here. We just wrap around the tent legs. This weighs about 50 pounds. We have four of those, so there's uh, 200 pounds of extra weight. Okay, here we have uh, more sandbags. These are a uh, butterfly type. They're 35 pounds, and we can use these on the tent as well, but they're uh, mostly used for a ballast. Uh, we use these for the, um, the alinery towers to help uh, ballast the towers. And we have, um, yeah, we have a total of eight of these. And that equals uh, 280 pounds of uh, extra weight. All right, when we're talking about tarps, uh, most people are probably used to seeing these. Uh, they're fairly lightweight, but uh, they're really not too good for um, uh, to protect anything. They're just too lightweight, they're too flimsy. They have a use, it's just very limited in uh, sound. Uh, what we usually end up using is uh, quite a bit of these. These are a lot more sturdy uh, than these blue ones. Uh, they do uh, exceptionally well with uh, uh, being you will treat it uh, roughly. Uh, these are really good tarps. But uh, what we do use quite a bit of, and uh, you really can't tell by looking out on camera here, but these are, uh, these are made of vinyl. These are uh, polyvinyl chloride or PVC uh, tarps. They've got um, excellent uh, stitching on them. Uh, the grommets on them are really good. These things are very solid. They are very heavy. Uh, we use these to cover the. Um, we use these to cover the front house uh, in case when rain starts to come in, if the wind's blowing. We'll grab these. Just their weight alone keeps them down. So uh, eventually, we'll probably end up replacing all these others uh, with all the PVC. However, I said these things. These things are probably uh, five times the weight as these, and they're probably two and a half times the expense but they are well worth it. Okay, these are the runners mentioning. These have been, these are used at um, every event that we do, whether it's indoors or outdoors. And feeling the weight of this, this is probably, yeah, it's probably close to uh, maybe 40 pounds. Probably have, I wanna say maybe 100 feet of these. So some people have asked about uh, why we don't use the uh, ramps that you see. And these ramps like yellow and black, uh, maybe sometimes orange and white. Uh, they're fairly large. Uh, they can hold, uh, some can hold like 10,000 pounds. Others can hold like 20,000 pounds. 
Uh, they're great for if you have uh, vehicular traffic that needs to move, you know, uh, across your wires for some reason. Uh, but the problem with those, and the reason why we don't use them for, um, anyway, the reason why we don't use them is they can become a big trip hazard. And it, when most of the shows that we do, we do not have traffic that moves uh, across the wires. Uh, now, if we did, we whoop, if we did, we probably use those ramps, but. Uh, the cost of those, the amount that we need, the additional weight of those uh, can be actually quite a bit. And as I said, the biggest thing about them is that if there's no vehicular traffic and there's a lot of people walking around, these things can, can become a trip hazard because they can be sitting close to three or four inches high just to support the uh, wiring going through them. Now, I'm not saying that, that they can't be used, but how we... Uh, how we use these runners, where we use them, we really don't need uh, the ramps. All right, as remedial as it is, something to add to the overhead is chairs. Uh, we usually keep maybe two of them at front of the house and maybe one or two near the stage. Sort of depends on the size of the event and how many people we have working with us. So we've got another tub, same size, the ones that we use for the tarps and the sidewalls and everything. It's full of lumber, and uh, there's just sections of two before, mostly two before. We we'll use that to prop up monitor speakers to get the speakers pointed more toward the uh, performers. Uh, we may use those to prop up uh, tables, sort of depending upon where we're setting up. Uh, if we're setting up on the ground, sometimes the ground can be uh, unstable. So we use the two befores to um, help level things out. And that container of two befores probably weighs uh, maybe close to 60 pounds. It's got a lot of lumber in it. And then next to it, uh, which you see there, those are risers, uh, those aluminum looking things. We have three of those. And usually at an event, we'll bring two of those along. Uh, one of them supports the uh, front house racks. And the other one, uh, we usually may have it at, uh, at the stage to support, um, just keep some of the equipment off the ground. This is nothing but shims, uh, which we use to make slight adjustments to uh, make things level. Uh, once again, it's the tables. It could be uh, monitor speakers. Uh, it could be anything on the stage that needs to be leveled. It's just a small box of shims. That's probably maybe only uh, 10 pounds. And just make sure that um, everybody knows we don't just pull things out of the tub. To bring with us, we bring the whole tubs of everything, whatever you see, the tarps, um, the runners, the lumber, the shims, we just bring it all with us. We're, we're not too sure what we're going to need when we get there, if we need anything at all, but it all needs to go. It's all overhead. All right, and then we also bring, uh, this is for um, the crew, we bring food, water, and any kind of, uh, we have some uh, like a little medical kit in case something happens. Uh, the food is not, doesn't weigh too much, but the water can weigh, uh, between water and ice, other kind of drinks, it can weigh close to uh, 70 pounds. It's quite a bit, but uh, when you're setting up, let's say in the summer, to do a summer show, we could be out there for six hours setting up, so we need food and water. Okay, now something that uh, you may or may not have seen at the event uh, is our lighting. And we've got two of these uh, light trees and here's one that's sort of uh, partially set up. Uh, the head can move back and forth. Uh, it can go a lot higher than that. And these are battery powered. These, are, these really don't pack well, if you know what I mean, like in a trailer or in a van. But um, these things are overhead. We need these to do the shows. So we got to find a place for them. All right, well, in addition to the sidewalls on the tent, we have uh, our own container here of nothing but uh, tent supplies. And what it is, just extra, we use the bungee cords to tie things up. One thing I, that I do keep in here is this other a tarp. And in some of the past videos, I pointed this out that um, we use uh, a tarp that covers the underside of the tent. And it helps keep the radiation, uh, any radiation that makes it through the top of the tent that it doesn't reach us. And anyway, it's a silver side up, 
black side down, and I tell you, it does phenomenal for keeping it cool under the tent. So this is just one of the many things that we keep in our tent supplies. And like the tent and everything else, uh, this goes with us when we do outdoor shows. Okay, we've got a box here of um, tools and stuff related to power. This is something that goes with us all the time. Uh, depending on the event, uh, we've got our um, power con, power cables that we use for some of the stuff. Extra power cables in here. Uh, we've got devices here to sniff out, um, right there, sniff out circuit breakers. We have two. And what else we got in here? We've got um, spare uh, 240 volt 50 amp connector in case we have to do an emergency change on one. This is just stuff that we need to do a show. Uh, just easier to keep the power cords together in one thing than trying to uh, put all the power cords with the speakers. It just it gets to be a mess. All right, so that goes with us. All right, the next box we have here is the front of house box. This is, um, we bring this to all the shows. Uh, just has things that we need at front of house or stuff that we need to run the front of house. Uh, we keep a, a tester in here. We use to test um, the uh, XLRs, RJ45s, even some of the speak on connectors. But it's just a, it's a variety of things that we need in here. Uh, we don't need everything all the time. It's just we do need something in here uh, probably at least twice every show. So the case comes with us. This little box here contains all the tape that we need uh, to do an event. For example, we have, um, well, we'll start with this. We have, um, this is a very heavy vinyl. This is safety tape, and this is what we use to um, attach the runners to the cement, concrete, whatever it is. Uh, this so people can see, people can see that there's something there. Uh, the other tape we have here, we'll get to this. The other tape is uh, more board tape. Um, we have, uh, this is uh, duct tape. This is some of the cheaper stuff. And the cheap duct tape, uh, where is it, more of it right here? Yeah, this uh, cheap duct tape is what we will use to um, secure either uh, the runners or the runners are cabled down to like a cement floor or a concrete or asphalt. Uh, it's great for that because we can use a lot of it and it's cheap. The, uh, the next step up from uh, regular duct tape is we use a, uh, basically it's a flat finish. I don't know if you can tell or not. Uh, one of them is shinier than the other. Uh, but this is what we would use if we were going to, um, uh, if we need to tape somebody's other cables down, like a band's cables, ta tape them down to whatever it is, the stage or the floor. Uh, this stuff's real good, leaves no residue, uh, but this is not ga this is not gaff tape. Uh, it's sort of like duct tape, but it's um, it's about two steps up from it. This is the gaff tape. The gaff tape is what we use to attach cables and stuff down onto a finished floor, like a wood floor or a floor that's been painted. Uh, we will tape these down to uh, like the borders or trim. Anything that's a finished surface, we will use the gaff tape on. And uh, we've got some um, different uh, types of um, colors here of electrical tape. Sometimes we use this to uh, label microphones. Uh, mostly, but I would tell mostly, we use the abort tape. We've got plenty of this around here to do uh, label microphones. And then we've got uh, this tape here. Uh, spike tape. It's something that you would put down on the stage. This is for, uh, especially for nighttime shows. You put it down on the stage, uh, either to mark something, that, and you tell the band, don't go like beyond this point. Um, anyway, it's it's, um, it's it's fairly bright white, uh, but it's got a great adhesion. Uh, so far, we haven't had to use it, but in case we do, we have some here that we can use it for. And in addition to all this tape that you see in here, we also have uh, whole assortment of scissors to use so um, every show we do this goes whether it's an outdoor or indoor show okay and this is the uh, cases that we take for um, outdoor shows now if there's an indoor show we would not need the bottom case okay we bring a table at every event we bring uh, extra caster boards with us to help facilitate moving of equipment uh, more manageable size caster boards Okay, we bring a thing of uh, tools. We've got gloves, 
we've got uh, screwdrivers, pliers, stuff like that, some wrenches in there, stuff that's uh, rather common. Uh, you never know when you've got to repair something and you need to be prepared for it. One of the larger shows is our uh, communications package. We use a uh, yellow cable, XLR cable, so that people can see it, because uh, obviously all the cables are usually black. Everything you've seen goes with us on a show. This is all part of the overhead. Okay, some of you don't, probably don't see very often, but uh, we do bring a briefcase every show. Extra set of headphones. We have uh, clipboards that we use to keep the uh, input lists on. We've got volunteer agreement forms sit in here. Um, extra Sharpies to write stuff down in case we have to. We've got business cards. This is more on the business side of it, but it goes with us on every show. Right, our next case is a uh, utility case for anything related to sound uh, and also electrical. Uh, we got a tester. These testers are okay. Uh, we do have a spare uh, voltmeter that we use. Uh, here we've got a sniffer. We have um, we got converters. Uh, changes the gender. More converters that change the gender. Uh, and also, let me get one out of here. We've got uh, the Whirlwind negative 20 dB pads. Because uh, there's no padding on the console. Uh, the consoles, we can... Um, we just attach these in line and we get a 20 dB pad. So this goes with us um, at every event. Probably one of the bigger things that we bring that's overhead is actually the uh, speaker towers. And because we don't actually need those for an event, uh, we do prefer to use them at events where we can. We do consider those overhead. And each one of these towers, including the base, weighs about uh, 120 pounds per tower. All right, uh, we do actually bring these traffic cones. And a very important tool is the two-wheeler. Okay, so everything you've seen here is overhead, but it is needed to successfully do a show. Now, some of the stuff, especially for maybe for smaller events, doesn't need to be uh, brought but everything else does and all this overhead requires space either in the trailer or in the van um, to take it wherever it needs to go and this also adds a huge amount of weight all right well that just about does it on the overhead there are a couple of things here that um, we always bring a spare console to an event if we have a digital board at the event we're going to bring a digital backup board same with the analog. I hope this shed some light on uh, potentially how much more gear you may have to bring with you that is not directly related to your sound system. The bigger shows that you do, I guarantee you the more overhead is going to be involved uh, to actually produce a show. So I chose an outdoor show to give you an idea of what the worst case scenario would be for uh, carrying a lot of overhead. But really, the bigger the show, the more overhead that's going to be involved. So here's a uh, quick list, a rundown of everything I pointed out in this video. And as you can tell, uh, there's quite a bit of weight involved. And in addition to this weight, we have to have room to carry all this gear. So as you're doing maybe more events, larger events, you may have to accommodate to uh, handle a bit more overhead. And as always, thanks for watching. Shut up and sit down.